Groundbreaking new study that could change how we screen for cancer. A blood test that can detect not only one type of cancer, but many. They're able to detect tiny fragments of DNA or proteins in the blood that are being shed by cancer cells as they start growing. Dr. Scott Ramsey is an internal medicine physician and leads the Hutchinson Institute for Cancer Outcomes Research. He says the National Cancer Institute selecting Fred Hutch to lead the study is kind of a big deal. And I think it's a tribute to the Hutch's reputation as a leader in screening. Unlike current screening methods that look for one specific cancer, these blood tests can screen for 10 different cancers simultaneously, including pancreatic, ovarian, and liver cancers, which currently have no screening options. Known as the Vanguard study, researchers are recruiting people ages 45 to 75 with no recent cancer diagnosis to take part in a clinical trial. I think this trial is the first step in a journey that I'm hopeful will lead to this sort of game-changing idea that we can all get a blood test. But we're a long way from that right now. This is the first step. While the actual trials won't happen at Fred Hutch in Seattle, the institution will be a coordinating and statistical center for the national study. It's a rather small study, and it's only going to give us a signal to help us understand if these tests do have promise. And whether the multi-cancer blood test has the potential to diagnose cancer earlier when treatment is more effective. Here's why that matters. Nearly half of all cancers diagnosed each year are often found at later stages when they're harder to treat. If we can pull this off uh, and show that some of these cancers can be detected at an earlier stage where we don't have anything right now, that could make a major dent in cancer uh, mortality. The results will help determine whether a larger national trial should move forward to see if these tests can actually reduce cancer deaths. To note, Washington residents will not be able to take part in the study, which is open to nine other out-of-state cities. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.